going on everybody? I'm Jason. This is Tennessee Mountain Homestead. I've been working for the last six, seven days a week. It's a beautiful day outside. I finally got a day or two off. We're going to have a little fun around here and we're going to rid the world of some of those nasty old turf tires. Let's get out to the barn and gather up some turf tires. We're going to go ahead and take these tires back. These were the ones that were on my tractor before. We're going to make a burnout pad and we're going to send these things where they belong straight to the smoke yard. We got some tires, we got some plywood. Let's go make a burnout pad. It really pains me to do this, but it's for a good cause. like old times. Oh, yuck. It screws into asphalt. It's perfectly fine. How dare you! Alright, that was about the best this thing could do. I had it in third and then fourth gear. We even put a little bit of WD-40 on this thing, but it just has so much traction and the pulley swap and everything else, the engine started to bog down in fourth gear. But we did do some damage to the burnout pad. It started to actually burn the wood and there's a big divot. It's kind of concave right here and you can see all this rubber, all this rubber dust. That was a pretty cool burnout. But anyways, let's see how we can go tear these tires up somewhere else in other ways and see what else we can get into around here. Let's have some fun today. This turf tire was in the wrong place at the wrong time. A few moments later. I'm Jason, this is Tennessee Mountain Homestead, and this is the gravel peel out.
right, these turf tires are pretty tough. He just dragged me about 50 feet through the gravel while I was going the other way. And these things are still intact. And I'm not okay with that. So let's take one that's not on a rim and see what this thing's really made of. The first strength test on this turf tire is can it stand up to a pit bull? Come on, dude, come get it. Come on, boy. come get it. Oh. Get him, boy. Oh. He's on it. Get it, boy. Get that tire, boy. Oh, get that tire, boy. Oh, good boy. Get that tire, boy. Get that tire, boy. Get that tire, boy. Shake it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. So, survey says a pit bull can do minimal damage to a tire, a tire bead in the sidewall of this tire. He chewed on it for about five minutes and did, uh, didn't make too much progress. But there are some puncture marks in the sidewall, and the bead has a big crease in it right there where he was pulling up on it. Otherwise, not too much damage. So, uh, I wonder what else the tire like this could take. We're going to find out. The next test, we're going to see if it can stand up to a 12 gauge shotgun. This is a Vepr 12. It's a semi automatic uh, 12 gauge shotgun. It shoots two and three quarter inch shells. I've got double lot buck in there, nine pellet. And this is a 10 round capacity magazine. All right, we had a little bit of a double feed. That magazine on the ground is an actual Vepr magazine. This is made by SMG. And we had a little bit of a double feed, a little bit of a jam. But I just got it cleared and re, uh, recycled. I got one in the chamber. Let's see if it'll cycle through. Did this just become a gun video? Double feed. Apparently the SMG magazine isn't gonna cycle on this gun. I loaded the remaining of the rounds in the original Vepr 12 mag. Let's finish this thing off. Clear. Apparently a 12 gauge shotgun can do a little more damage than a pit bull. As you see, we've got severe perforations on the sidewall. On this sidewall and some to the tread, we got exits of pellets leaving the treads. Let's go ahead and try something else. All right, next up, we got two Freedom Ordnance FX9s. These are chambered in nine millimeter. They're both loaded up with 124 grain hollow points. And yes, they take Glock mags. All right, that was 63 rounds of nine millimeter hollow point. And she's a little more chewed up. We've got all our entry holes here, or a lot of them at least. We got a bunch of exit holes. 
clean through the rubber. Sidewalls are tore up good all over the place. We got, we got, oh, we got full metal, we got jackets. Oh, oh, there's a round. Cool. Stuck in the, uh, stuck in the, um, the bead. All right, so we got some more things in store for this tire. I want to see what this thing can really take. Because you know why? At the end of the day, it's a turf tire. And nobody likes turf tires. Ow! <laughs> for the next test, we're going to see if this turf tire can stand up to a Kubota L3301 and a Chevy Express van playing tug of war. Well, not really so much tug of war, but the tractor's gonna pull this thing. Good tire, huh, Duke? The tractor just didn't have enough traction, even with all four tires spinning in four-wheel drive, to pull that tire in half. We're gonna try something else. We're gonna try the van tied to a tree. more than that tire could bear. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well then, the van pulled this tire apart like a well-cooked baby back rib coming off the bone. But this tire still exists and that bothers me. So uh, let's get something else set up and see if this thing can take it. I've had all I can stand with this tire. Let's see if it can take this. <laughs> what? Will burning it increase our carbon footprint? Carbon footprint? What will Greta say? Greta? How dare you? Oh, that's right. You know, I guess burning this tire would be pretty irresponsible of us, and uh, we probably shouldn't do it. So let's think of something else. You didn't think we were really going to burn it now, did you? Definitely only 10 round magazines. 